Hey guys, Scar9 here, and welcome back to my channel today. Last week I did a video covering five hidden meanings and references in weapon names within Destiny, and you guys seemed to really enjoy it, so I thought this week we would go back and do the same thing but for exotic armor pieces within Destiny. So let's go ahead and get into it. Like last video, I just want to start off with a really easy example just so you guys can kind of get an idea of what to expect going forward in this video. So for the first one, we are going to be looking at the Hunter chest piece, the Tarantella. Contrary to popular belief, this is not called the Tarantula, it is in fact called the Tarantella. So Tarantella is actually the name of a folk dance in Italy. Now this dance was actually originally believed to cure the bite of a Tarantula. By giving it that spider theme, they were able to make it more of an intimidating exotic, I feel, but their ability to name it after a real-world dance associated with spiders and giving it to a subclass that essentially dances between enemies just shows how much detail Bungie really puts into naming the different items within the game. The next name for this video is going to be the Ophidian Aspect. This is often regarded as being one of the best looking exotics, but it also has a really cool name to go along with its good aesthetics. So the word Ophidian actually means snake or having to do with snakes, and aspect obviously means part of or linked to. So the name Ophidian Aspect literally means having to do with snakes. In addition to this, the flavor text Have I Aspic on my lips actually ties in really nicely to this as well. So right off the bat, this flavor text might seem a little bit random, but this quote is directly taken from William Shakespeare's play Antony and Cleopatra, in which Cleopatra is bitten and killed by a poisonous snake. So not only does this exotic look really cool, the name actually ties very heavily into having to do with snakes, and then to add a final connection to snakes, Bungie adds added the quote from the play Antony and Cleopatra. Personally, I really like it when Bungie uses stuff from our world and puts it within the Destiny universe. Overall, it just makes the Destiny universe feel more alive, and I really love little references like this to our world that many people won't understand, but still is a really cool nod to something that happened in our past. The third example for this list is going to be the Hunter Gauntlets, the Capri Stings. This name actually ties into both the exotic perk for the armor piece and the flavor text for this armor. So first off, Capri is the Egyptian god who is normally represented by scarabs, hence the scarab on the arm of this exotic. He is known for being able to bring things into and out of existence, and I think that idea translates over into the exotic perk, which makes you turn invisible. I think the best way to look at it is that whenever you go invisible, you are fading out of reality, and whenever you turn back into being visible again, you are thus coming back into reality. That can probably get a little bit confusing, so think about it like this. Your reality is technically what you perceive. So if a person is invisible but standing right next to you, technically you do not believe they exist because you cannot see them. The moment they become visible again, they step back into existence because you can then perceive them again and technically see them as being in your reality. In addition, the flavor text, the wound is not deep but you know it exists and that is enough, is a direct reference to Capri and his role in making things exist and not exist. So I really love this example. It shows how Bungie takes very heavy influence from real world history and mythology and uses all of that as inspiration for the game that they are building, which I just think is plain amazing. For the next name meaning, we're going to be looking at the Empyrean Bellicose. Now, I'm going to be completely honest for how useless I find this exotic to be, the intricacy of this name took me by surprise. So the word Empyrean means belonging to heaven or of the highest degree in heaven, and the word bellicose means a willingness to fight. So put together, the two words Empyrean bellicose can mean something similar to fighting with the strength of heaven. Now to me, this didn't seem like a huge deal at first until I realized that the exotic perk for this helmet actually gives you the Angel of Light perk. And obviously in many religions, angels are associated with heaven. So this helmet has a very obvious angelic design, has a name that relates back to heaven, and then also gives you the Angel of Light perk. And I think that this example shows exactly exactly why I wanted to start this series. Bungie obviously puts quite a lot of effort into naming the perks, making the flavor text, and then naming the pieces of armor as well, and I think that that is underappreciated way too much. And finally, we have reached the coolest hidden name reference for this video. This spot is going to be given to one of the least used exotics in Destiny, the Astrocyte Verse. So a lot of people are with me in thinking that this is one of the coolest looking exotics in the game. And to add on to that, the name of this exotic, the Astrocyte Verse, actually ties in amazingly to its function. So astrocytes are cells in your brain that are associated with repairing damage to neurons in the top of your spinal column. In addition, the suffix verse can be used to denote an area of activity, so the the phrase astrocyte verse is just an area that has extremely active amounts of astrocyte cells. So once again, these cells main function is to repair brain damage which ties in really well with this exotics perk that gives you increased recovery. So in terms of lore, this 
helmet quite literally turns your head into astrocytes and the increased amount of these cells helps you to heal more quickly whenever you blink, which is a really awesome idea. Being a scientific minded person myself, I love when items in the game have strong ties and references into real life science, but also have a function that represents that relationship as well. I just think that is absolutely amazing. So those are all five names with hidden meanings and references for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating and to share this video with your friends. If you guys missed last week's video covering five similar names, but on weapons instead of armor pieces, you can click the annotation on screen to be taken to it. If you are brand new to my channel, make sure to hit the giant version of my logo to be subscribed for more awesome Destiny videos and live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I will see you in my next video.